for a second because we got some important information to talk about. Okay, you did it? Okay. So first off, since this topic is going to be really deep, well, not even that deep. It's going to be more about black people and supporting our businesses, you already know, and just like my protesting journey. But anyway, before I even start, let me tell y'all, um, I got this hat from Wavy Boy Clothing, and y'all know, if y'all really out here supporting our black businesses, y'all need to go hit Wavy Boy up for some hats, some gear, some shirts, anything for women, men, kids, anybody, all sizes. So we got t-shirts, hoodies, everything, wavy boy mask, everything. So don't forget to go hit them up. It's a black owned company. The link will be in the description. It's www, 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 it's www.wavyboyclothing.com. So don't forget to go hit them up for some gear. And yes, it is a black owned business. But anyway, I'm gonna be dropping some more links to some black owned businesses where y'all can buy some stuff because we need to support our black owners, especially during this time of racistness and COVIDness and I don't even know if those words existness. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so don't forget Wavy Boy. Oh, I love my hat. It just block out all my haters, block out all the sun. It just bring out my face. Like, I just love my hat, okay? Okay, so go check them out. But anyway, I'm going to be dropping some more links for black-owned businesses that y'all can just go tune into and really, like, support them. Especially all my black people. Let's go support. Okay. But anyway, so I'm going to be talking about my protest journey. So basically, let me tell you how I started my protest journey for the Black Lives Matter movement. So I was in my house. It was the day after the whole riot thing happened downtown Portland where Louis Vuitton and stuff was getting freaking robbed and looting and all that good stuff. So it was the day after that and people was on my block by my house and it's a four way intersection. So there's like three white people on each block and then I looked and I heard all this hunking and I was like, what is all that hunking? So then me and my boyfriend went outside to our patio and was like, oh my gosh, there's people out there holding signs and stuff saying Black Lives Matter. I was like, I'm finna go join. I don't know about you, but I'm not finna sit in your house. Like, I'm finna be the only black person on my block protesting. So I was like, okay, okay. So then I became like the only black person on my block protesting. And while I was on my block protesting, there was multiple cars that went by and was saying like all this goofy stuff like, Oh, all lives matter. You're racist. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll put some pictures over here from that protest. I think I got some. If I don't, then it's, excuse me, there's not going to be no pictures there. Sorry. But something that happened. And then they kind of, the people on our block kind of was like scared about the whole curfew thing because we had like a curfew where everyone had to be in the house by 7 p.m. because of the whole rioting and looting downstairs. I meant downtown. And so it was like, okay. So then my boyfriend's sister pulled up and she's like, yo, let's go downtown. Like, let's go protest downtown. And I was all like, uh, like, what if we get smoke bomb? Like, and then I was like, you know what? How many racist people did I see today? I was like, you know what? I'm gonna actually go. So we all hop in the car and we park at the office depot on Grand Street. So we parked over there because we didn't want nothing to happen to the car. We didn't want no tickets, nothing. So I parked over there and then we walked over the bridge and like right when we got to like, I think I have a video of it, but I'll put it right here. But right when we got to the bridge, like, like not even across it, it was like almost like the first few steps. Then there was like people over there, they had like face towels, waters, Gatorades, granola bars, earplugs, like everything you need for a protest. So it was like, okay, so we picked up on some of that stuff. And then, like, we started heading towards, like, where everyone was at, which was near Pioneer Mall, the courthouse, like, over there. Like, I don't know if it's the court, but, like, it's by Pioneer Square. That's what it's called, Pioneer Square. So it was by Pioneer Square. 
So we all were walking there and we met some heck of cool people on our way there. So we like kind of kicked it with them. And then like we got there and when we got there, like we had the party live. Like we had it so live that people started throwing stuff at the police. So we didn't want that to happen. So we kind of stopped doing it then. And then there was like cars coming by. Like, so there's cars on the protest. So they were driving through the protest with us. And like, there's this like, there's these really cool people and we was like, can we sit on top of your car so we can protest? And they was like, yeah, no problem. So then we was sitting on top of the car. I'll post a picture from the top of the car right here. And we sitting on top of the car. And when we sitting on top of the car, we was just like, everyone was taking our pictures. It was like pictures going from like the Oregonian, like different like newspapers and stuff. Just people from all over. And we was like, oh, you guys are showing so much love. And I thank the Oregonian. They were showing so much love out there. I see y'all out there. And so we went. So we drove, so then we got, so then when we got like, when we, when the protest started moving, we're still on top of the car and we started heading towards the bridge. When we got near the bridge, someone was all like, oh, they're fit. the police are starting to come, so they're going to start tear gassing people. So we was on top of the car, so we was like, we're not trying, we didn't have like no like good protection for tear gassing and stuff. So we hopped in the car that we were like, the people we were sitting on top of the car, we hopped in the car because they have, they was helping us out with some water. They was helping us out with bananas, like everything. So we sat on top of the car. I mean, so we got back in the car and we was all having a conversation, laughing, ha, ha, ha. And then we still screamed for Black Lives Matter throughout the whole protest, like just chilling. So then that happened and then we finally decided like it was time to go because everyone was leaving and they were like, let's all meet up next time. So it was like, okay, cool. But I don't think we ever ended up meeting up with them again next the next time we went. But then we was, when we got to our car, we headed home. And then I waited a while to go back to another protest because I didn't. Ha I feel like I needed someone to be with me because I didn't feel comfortable being downtown alone and let alone at a crazy protest. Alone. So then like a week or two later, no, I'm gonna say a week later, not even a week, like a few days later, like actually recently, like I've been going to a lot more protests and um, those protests have actually been very peaceful and I actually went to one with um, my cousin and it was actually pretty lit because I got to drive someone's car. So I was like in the protest with someone's car and I was like, hey, hey. <laughs> but yeah it was so late and like just to see how many people like came out and support us like that was so great and like I went to the little June 10th party thing it was lit at Revolution Hall it was so lit like so many people came out so many people showed love and like we had the streets blocked off and everything like it was so lit like I'm sorry but it's better than any of the Portland parties I've been to so far <laughs> You feel me? But yeah, it was lit. I got to see a lot of familiar faces. A lot of unfamiliar faces. Got to meet a lot of new people. Oh, also, guys, I went to a Woodburn protest. I went to a Woodburn one because my cousin, my god cousin, he spoke at one. So I went and I'll post the video over here too. I'll shout him out too. You know, <laughs> I'll ask him if he wants me to post it. I'll ask him. But yeah, it was kind of lit. And but I haven't really been since because I've been working and I think I want to go to one soon, hopefully eventually. But that just shows how much we need to really like support our black companies, our black owned businesses, like really support our black people because we don't know when or who the next person is. Or if there's going to be an next person because how we acting all we there might not be an next person okay okay but anyway we need to just really support our black owned businesses and really get their names out there because at the end of the day we don't know what's going to happen in the world we don't know if the white people are ever going to start helping us so we need to start helping ourselves by helping other businesses because if we're not helping other businesses then what is the point if we're not helping other black owned businesses, let me say black owned businesses, then what is the point? Because at the end of the day, like what if racism really start all over again? Like black people ain't gonna have nothing if we don't support our black owned businesses, okay, man? We're not gonna have nothing. We're not gonna have hats. We're not gonna have nothing, okay? 
So we really need to support them, okay? That means go buy something, donate something, do something uh, to make a difference, like dead ass. Do something different. I challenge y'all to go buy two things from two different black-owned businesses. I challenge y'all right now. Go do it today, not tomorrow, today. When you see this video, shoot. But anyway, I love y'all. Much love to my black people out there. Black Lives Matter and we gonna get through this, y'all. We got through it before. We gonna get through it again, period. But anyway, I love y'all. Stay blessed. See y'all soon. Don't forget to leave some love. Leave some love, hey. Leave some love, y'all. Leave some love, y'all. Please don't love, yeah. Please don't love. Please don't love, y'all. Oh. Okay. That's enough love. <laughs> Leave some love, y'all. Wavy Boy Clothing. Description down below. Description. The link is going to be in that description. Don't forget. Thank you.